Big time CIAA matchup as Virginia State hosts Winston-Salem State in the matchup of the two teams that have won their last five CIAA championships. First quarter, the Trojans respond to a quick score by the Rams with one of their own as Cordero Cook finds Quincy Watts for an 18-yard score. VSU with the ball again, and they give it to the Cannon. Cannon goes around the corner for 11 yards, but a second missed point after touchdown makes the score 12-7. Now this is one of the best quarterback runs you're going to see all year. As Cook takes off, appears to be headed out of bounds, and then just speeds on down the field, leaving WSSU defenders and my camera looking at him from behind. The PAT was good, by the way. Later in the second quarter, the WSSU defense anticipating another missed field goal, but instead they get a block. Terrell Fleming takes it 45 yards to pay dirt, and it's a 19-14 game at halftime. Real nice halftime as we had two of the CIAA's biggest bands, Winston-Salem State's Red Sea of Sound. And VSU's Trojan Explosion, and they still had eight minutes to spare. Now when you're talking Winston-Salem State and Virginia State, the matchup between the cheerleaders is just as fierce as the one between the bands. Shout out to the rules of VSU and the powerhouse of red and white at WSSU as they got in the CIAA Unity Cheer and it was beautiful. Back on the field in the second half, the Rams offense gets going in the third quarter as Rod Tinsley Jr. hits Jalen Barber for a 19-yard touchdown strike. The pat would be blocked, however, leaving WSSU with the 2019 edge. Let's move to the fourth quarter. Now, we had a quick power outage, and Tinsley calls his own number and gets in the end zone, and WSSU stretches that lead to 28-19. Things are looking pretty good for Winston-Salem State late in the fourth as Dijon Country Kaysen picks off Cook and WSSU has a chance to put the ball game away. But the Rams couldn't score, giving the Trojans one last chance, and that would be all they needed. The Trojans drove 80 yards, capped by this cannon run, cutting the lead to 28-26. to They needed two, and they got it as Cook waltzed into the end zone, and we got overtime. VSU got the ball first, and on its second play, Thomas Kufi goes for 17 yards and the touchdown. The pat was, of course, blocked. But it wouldn't matter, because WSSU fumbled on its first play in overtime, and Virginia State came up with a 33-28 win, its 12th in 14 games under Reggie Barlow. VSU improves to 3-0, while WSSU falls 2-2. I hate to go philosophical, but we talked about the book of Luke when the paralytic man had the guys carry him and they refused to be denied. They took him to the door, they said you can't come in. They took him to the window and said it's too crowded, you still can't come in. Well, they tore the roof off the house so they can lower the paralytic man, their teammate, down before God. That's what these guys did today. They stayed the test of time and did what they needed to do.